happening fellow pioneers of human transportation you're watching the electric scooter academy i'm yogi steve i've had a lot of different jobs in my life i'm an ex-martial arts instructor i'm an ex-yoga teacher i even had my own small business as a kid i had my own baseball card store when i was 14 years old in marlboro new jersey but now i'm a full-time delivery guy on a scooter and youtuber thanks for checking out the channel please throw me a subscription Click the like button, that helps the algorithm, and leave me nice comments, ask me questions, and I'll always talk back. I appreciate your support. Let's go make some money. Thank you for joining me again. We are out here at the beginning of the week. It's Monday on the eMove Roadrunner Pro. Use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, to get $50 off this scooter. It really helps me as a content creator. Look at my other links and codes as well. We're out here on a DoorDash shift, first day of the week. It's Monday, and I can tell you, I'm going for a big week which for me just means to make like seven or 800 bucks plus Prop 22 money. So I'm gonna work a lot of hours this week. I'm gonna work Monday through Friday. I'm gonna try to work every lunch and dinner. I think the key to making money in this market is to make sure you work dinner. Our first order is from the Roosevelt Hotel. There's actually a diner in here that we've never been in, but we're gonna go grab this and see what happens. Seven bucks for point four. here it is. 25 degrees, open 24 hours. This should be easy. How you doing? I have a DoorDash for uh, Jenna, Jenna S. Bro, thank you very much. See you next time. All right, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. We just got to scramble. Let's go. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Check it out. The Woodrunner Pro. This drop-off is really close to where I live. I think what I'm going to try to do this week is work three very specific, like, three-hour shifts, 11 to 2, maybe 4.30 to 7.30, just not to burn myself out, but still really try to hit 30 hours for the week. All right, this is the drop-off. We know exactly where this is. We have a friend who lives in here, a couple of them, I think. We can just wedge the scooter in here, too. It's relatively safe. It's actually on the wrong side. So here, i got to bring the scooter in. I went up a couple little steps. I turned it off for the transition. Now we'll just walk it in and this should be easy. Enjoy, thank you. Easy order, we got that done within uh, 14 and a half minutes of leaving the house. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Check it out, the Roadrunner Pro, looking good. I like the black and red shocks. I mean, those are like $70 add-ons. And I do have a uh, Zoom four piston calipers on, which are also 70 bucks, pretty cheap. Holding up real good, above 2,000 miles. Order coming in as we're peeling down Franklin. It looks like we're gonna take it, because it doesn't look like it's going anywhere far. Coffee bean, half a mile, 575. Let's do that. Frick. We're going somewhere pretty deep on Sycamore. It says to the restaurant, I mean, does this guy mean the Magic Castle, 1999 Sycamore? Well, we're gonna find out the hard way, I guess, by doing it. Man, I really want my energy drink. Holy shit, that curb was higher than I thought, and I'm just blasting through this light. So I wanna get to Sycamore, let's go. We're gonna blast this light too, yup. Oh yeah, this is actually the killer ride up to fucking Yamashiro's. What a fucking bitch. Uh, I time lapse this bitch. Very, very steep, long hill. A very good test of any of my scooters. All dual, mo all my dual motor scooters can pull this off for real. But here we are right at the peak. This is like the most of a degree you want to do, whatever this is. We're still trying to get to the restaurant. It's up here somewhere. Hello. Hi, it's your DoorDash. Where did you want me to meet you? Um, there's like a small building in the front. You just have to go past that building. Obviously. Hey, oh, you're closer than I thought. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. It's real summer out here now. Mm -hmm. Are they bringing the market back, you know? Has it been coming back? Not that I have heard. Well, I missed that, man. That was great. Everyone talking about it. Well, I lived, like, down the street. It was awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. You, you too. Yeah, there used to be, like, a fucking phenomenal high-end market up here. Like, like, a, like a, 
like a farmer's market, but it was all good stuff. I used to come up here and literally get like for four bucks each, and I thought it was expensive at this time. It was small portions of a little like filet mignon barbecue sticks. Filet mignon like uh, shish kebabs. Oh my God, that shit would be $10 a skewer now. All right, now we get to roll all the way down the hill. At least that's the only advantage of coming up here. Disadvantage is, is it's gonna smoke my brakes. I do feel like these four piston calipers though, they're holding up really good. Yeah. This is probably the most sketchy shit that I do. How like I drive on the wrong side of the road, approach the zombies, and we got the cross. We're walking now, we're pedestrians, and now we're pedestrians, and now we're, we're still pedestrians. We're gonna get to the right. This is today's poison. We got the, uh, the guava Celsius. We tried to sit down and drink this, but we got a $6 Starbucks, so let's guzzle it and go. I can't believe what I did. I got distracted. I was looking at something on my phone when that order came in. I forgot to accept it, but now we're getting it packaged with the Taco Bell. It's even better. $13.50, $1.5, two orders. It's a great deal. Let's go. All right, guys, now we got to go to Taco Bell for the drink. All right, you guys, we walk right in on this one. Let's go. Pretty much know where we're going. I'm not sure what it's called. The place is called The Hue, 6630 Sunset. They're meeting us outside. All right, I guess, let's see, 6630. I do actually kind of remember being in this building before. But, um, I don't know, 66 called the Hue or something on the. What the fuck? Now we're going over to Fuller, more towards uh, where I live with the taco bit. That's right here. Got a little ramp that's nice. We're just going in. Listen to the slipknot. Was this Slipknot? I don't remember actually. What is this? Hey, John. Seems like safe enough of a place. I'm just gonna leave the scooter here. Come on, elevator. Hey there, see you. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, have a great one. Yeah, that old celebrator got stuck forever on that floor. All right, let's go. Pretty good for thirteen fifty. I will take that. We're at twenty six bucks now. For how long have we worked? This is the scary part. Oh, a little over an hour. That's an incredible rate for us. Actually, there's no way we're gonna make seventy five in three hours, but that would be the goal on any given day. I don't feel like doing this, but we got an acceptance rate order three and a quarter for point seven. Let's do it. All righty, guys, we got it. Let's go. Nasty little order here. We're going up the hillside. We're gonna try to run this fucking light. I do not want to sit here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Running every light. This is also really close to my neighborhood. The lady says hang this on the handlebar, but this is like a giant bag of ice with a single coffee, I feel like. Is that it right there? Oh, 1870s up here. I feel like that'll like break the handle 100%. So I will figure this out. wall she said okay this is the concrete wall I take crappy orders like that to keep my acceptance rate up you want to stay above 70 so you can just always work when you want I mean they call it dash now it means you don't have to schedule a shift which is bullshit that anybody would have to do that considering this is independent contracting work number two proposition 22 guarantees me little money so whenever I'm on the clock like that it pays off Number three, I don't really mind doing it. I like staying busy. All right, let's go back to the center somehow. As we pulled up the Chick-fil-A, $10, 1.1 mile double. Boba time's easy, Popeyes. You know, Popeyes, I used to say it was terrible, but we've been walking in and out of there pretty quick. All right, Boba time, Popeyes, 1.1 miles. Can never turn that down, 10 bucks, let's go. Oh my God, this fucking parking lot. 
I will wait for you. I'm just gonna sit here calmly. All right, you're back far enough. Now go forward and get out of my fucking way. Come on, oh no. I thought you were gonna try to make a left, you idiot. I mean, I drove a car my whole fucking life, so I know how to drive. These fucking people obviously do not. All right, we're going to Popeyes, which is all the way down here. It's something stupid. <laughs> we're not going to Popeyes first. We gotta go to Boba Time, which is like right here first. These are both for the same customer, which is great. Where is everybody? Alrighty guys, we got the drink. Now we gotta go get the Popeyes. I'm in here. I got Paul R. Much. Perfect. Looks like we're going up Highland. Thank you. Oh, I didn't realize there was a drink in here, but that's okay, team. We'll pack it up. Let's go. Pretty much know exactly where I'm going with this. It would be nice to cross here, zombies. Could you please get the hell out of my way? Yeah, we gotta go all the way over to Highland now. Pretty much know the way this place works. It's basically, there's a ramp, we go down, and we either get buzzed in or security lets us in. But we are here. How you doing? I've been here before. I'm going to 506. I tried buzzing them, they didn't pick up. Six, please. Thank you. That actually was the customer asking me if they missed my call. So now we're at 35 or 37 bucks for hour and 40. I mean, not a bad pace. Again, I think we want to work a very clear three hour schedule to avoid burnout during this long week that I'm going to try to put in. And seven, 800 bucks on paper would be pretty good. Plus maybe a hundred prop 22. Thank you. See you next time, 1724. All right, guys, before we could even get out of here, we got a 650. 0.7 mile McDonald's, so assuming there's a McDonald's on Hollywood, yeah, let's go. Thank you. Perfect. See you next time. That is right. Thank you. Oh my God, it took her a long time to figure that out, but we got it. Let's go. Wow, this is a tight fit. Let me show you how I drive this scooter to conserve battery and not rip up the front tire. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I keep it in second gear, and then as I get some momentum, I flip it into third. Third's usually fast enough. That's like mid-30s. I'm not going on the goddamn freeway. I was gonna try to do this for us here, but there's too much traffic in front of us. So here, we're in second now. One, two, flip it into third, and all of a sudden we're ripping. And now we're gonna go like 35 miles an hour in two seconds. Watch this, 25. 30. Maybe 33, maybe I had the speed wrong. If I put it in fourth, we can go faster. Whoa, I don't wanna go faster. It's weird, I can go 60 on a fucking stand-up scooter, but these things scare me. 25, 30, fast. Feeling like this is a store drop-off, right? 72.58, we're going to 72.68. That's gonna be barber, perfect. How you doing, friend? Hey, enjoy. My pleasure, thank you. Alrighty, guys, that was easy. We're at $46 for hour 54, that's phenomenal. We got a great order before we could pull away. $6.2 miles from Korean barbecue and rice, which is right up here. This is a very good place. I've eaten a lot of bowls from this place. All right, let's go. $6 for 0 0.2, but you know we're gonna have to get there and sit. There's no way they're ready. Alrighty guys, you brought it out to me. Let's go. It's pretty close, we're going down to Gardner. I think it's really, it was close. A really easy exterior uh, drop off, let's go. 15, 14B, which one do we want to drop off at? Got you. This place is good. I've ordered, ordered a lot of bowls from here. Uh, I've never had it, is it good? Oh yeah, Korean barbecue, you're gonna love it, bro. Sick, man, thank you so much. Thank you, enjoy. All right, guys, let's go. I'll take $6.2 any day, it was good. Back to the sand. I don't know what's going on today, but these are great orders. $10.50, 1.6, fuck yeah, from Korean barbecue and somewhere else easy. All right, first we've got to go to a halal curry place, wherever the fuck that is. Oh, this is the Thai place. We do not want the fucking Thai place. How you doing? I have a Vedant, Vedant J. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Thank you. We got lucky, guys. Let's go. Fast. I already did that one. Now I have Yasmin S. Yasmin. A $5 tip. Look at that. Added $5. That's very rare in this business. Thank you. The Popeye's customer added five bucks, guys. Add that to the tally. 
We walked in on this one. We're having a sick fucking lunch shift. Let's go. Oh my god, why is this all so fucking difficult? This fucking stupid carpet's in the way. I had to bring, carry the fucking scooter up a bunch of stairs. And now I gotta go back and fix this fucking rug. Wasn't the, to the total mileage on this 1.6? How is this next drop off of 1.8 miles away, you fucking pricks? Hey guys, for Yasmin? Yasmin? Yes, please. Okay, I don't think I need to take a picture of this one. Let me take a quick picture of it, okay. Thank you, friend, see you next time. That's very good. Pretty fast order for 1050. Let's get one more. Look at that. Somebody added a customer added a five dollar Popeyes tip. Nice. This is an unfortunate order. Eleven dollar fifty cent. Three mile Best Buy. That's too far. Got a shitty replacement order, but we're taking it. Four and a quarter. One mile. Target red card. It'll probably be something like super easy. Plus we need to buy some energy drinks anyhow. Infant formula, well we're helping a mommy, let's go. Where's the code for this? Perfect. This is a DoorDash order by the way. New fucking protocol of having to take a goddamn receipt. A picture is such a fucking pain in the ass. We're at two hours, 44 minutes, 15 miles. This is definitely gonna be our last order. I'm not taking another one after this. We gotta go all the way to Melrose though. Yeah, this is a really far run. We gotta go all the way down to Sweetser. Oh, it just says leave at the door, but I'll probably bring it in if the door is unlocked. Hi, for doll. How you doing? Alrighty. Take care of the baby. Thank you. All right, guys, we did it. $72 in two hours, 50 minutes. A phenomenal rate. When we get closer to home, I'll wrap you up. That's it for the first shift on the Roadrunner Pro. Two hours, 55 minutes. Call it about 18 miles by the time we get home. Use my bonus code, Electric Scooter Academy, $50 off, and link on this scooter or Roadrunner V2, the smaller version. Use all my other codes. All right, we're not done, guys. We're coming back out for a second shift. See you in a minute.